and you can see what's coming up on the next slide. Mm. But if you stick, if you stuck, let me okay. know. Yes, yes. Isn't it working? Mm -mm. Oh, okay, just press the arrow. So I must just use the arrow too. I think so. Okay. It's strange. <laughs> They don't have a microphone, but they can turn the aircon down. So I think turn the aircon down, and then when we don't speak, we turn it up. Okay. <laughs> Is that arrow working as well? Not working. Yeah. You need to click on that. Okay, I'll do it for you. Okay. Oh, there you morning. Go. morning, everyone. Um, I think I've already introduced myself. Um, just to start off, I'm just going to give an overview of um, of Succeed, um, just giving away to uh, many other speakers who will um, elaborate in terms of the work that we're doing um, as Succeed. Um, we normally start with this um, diagram or picture of um, Succeed to try and explain it. Um, so what Succeed does basically is to um, provide technical support and um, capacity development. And um, we do this um, um, through um, three activities which actually work together as, um, as one intervention. Hence the, the overlap um, of the three activities. So we have quality improvement and data, we have um, operational research, and we also have decentralized learning. And um, you will hear more about those activities from the upcoming um, speakers. Um, and then on the outside, the gray area is just to say where um, the platform where we're working at Succeed. Um, um, we're working at Asia and related services as well as um, um, district learning platform. So um, in, in general, um, the aim then is to improve the quality of HIV related and related services through capacity development and technical assistance, as I've said, in quality improvement um, and data management, operational research, and decentralized learning. So what is our purpose? <laughs> um, so the purpose, um, um, success purpose, is to um, basically strengthen the health um, workforce from pre-service to um, um, practicing health workers. Um, as well as in, increase the number of health workers, um, more especially from the rural areas, with the skills and competences um, to effect, effectively provide HIV AIDS care and treatment. And we also, um, as I've mentioned, capacity building to increase the number of competent operational researchers in the, work, in the health workforce. And um, lastly, lastly, to develop and implement um, quality improvement plans uh, to support integration of HIV care into PHC to improve retention on treatment and continuity of care. Um, so as Succeed, we have, um, we've put together um, outcomes, um, what we want to see um, um, as we go along until the end of Succeed. And we've divided our um, outcomes into short term um, intermediate as well as long-term outcomes. And um, we also, since Succeed is for a term of five years, we divided those into um, the first and second year, which we already done, where we will be focusing mostly on building capacity. And then um, the intermediate, which is the year that we're in um, to the next year, um, the fourth year, we want to um, see change in practice. And lastly, towards the end, we want to see um, improved outcomes. Okay. So where we're working um, as Succeed, we work um, at national. We do some work there. We also work um, at provincial level as well, um, going to the district um, level. So at provincial level, we are mostly based um, in the Eastern Cape. Um, we have um, our biggest collaborator there is Walter Sisulu University. Um, and then we work in two um, districts, um, Krisani and um, Amatole district. And then we have sub-districts with, within those districts. Um, 
We're working in any noble sub district, and our site today is All Saints uh, uh, Hospital. And we also work in Bashe sub district, um, where the, we're working at uh, Madwani. And lastly, we work uh, at Muma sub district, which is in Batawat. Um, we also, um, most especially, our QI team works closely with. Um, um, the referral clinics as well as um, PHCs, um, as you can see that the dad um, um, described the referral from the referral um, hospitals to the um, um, CHCs and PHCs, and um, yeah, as I said, mostly our QI team works with the um, with the referral clinics. And then at national level, we have um, quite a, a number of activities that we also do. Um, at national, I won't go through all that slide, but for example, our QI team um, gives support um, at national um, QA directorate. Direct um, they also support the national DIP um, in achieving the 1990-90. And then for example, our operational research team um, contributes to the implementation of research um, national advisory group. Um, and then the decentralized learning um, has already developed a model. I think um, um, Prof will talk more about that in terms of, of decentralized training. And we uh, succeed also have um, subcontracts. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Sorry. We have subcontracts that we, we're working with. Um, we work with um, UCT, and we will hear more from um, COSI, I think, um, where they provide um, APC training for us. And we also have um, a subcontract with University of Pretoria. Um, Prof. Yanni is going to talk more about that in terms <coughs> of ITA. And then we also work um, with UKZN, um, where um, they do training of health professionals to enhance the implementation of innovation through service health professionals, adults, supported by a responsive and relevant curriculum. Okay, um, as I've said, we've gone a long way now as Succeed, and we achieved a lot of things. We did a lot of um, groundwork at the beginning. Um, we now at um, yet three and um, just some of the um, uh, milestones um, in terms of this year um, and our work this year has been more um, um, focusing um, on impacting 1990-90. Um, uh, so there has been a lot of um, trainings and workshops from all the from the three um, um, activities um, for um, and there's also has been um, successful online modules and webinars that has that have been um, 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 provided um, research grants that have been awarded. Um, I'm not elaborating on this because um, the speakers will talk more on, on those points. Um, the DL um, um, activity has also um, published some articles. Um, there's also an implementation of 1990 student app that um, uh, Prof. Hofi is, is, is doing. Um, there's been three learning collaborators for each of the referral classes for um, QIPs to meet the 1990-90 and um, 19 site, site support visits which are providing on-site mentoring and coaching which is also done by our QI um, team um, to help um, meet 1990-90 targets. And I think that's the end of my slide. Yeah, that's that's us. That's mostly <laughs> us um, as a team, um, succeed team. Um, I think that was last year or something. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So today we want to take another picture that's bigger than that one. So the next one. <laughs>